Hey guys, my name is Prototype. Welcome back to some more Clash Royale. Today I'm going to be showing you my favorite Arena 5 deck. This was actually requested as well for this arena and is actually the deck that I normally use. Um, I prefer Hog Rider and Freeze, of course, that scummy deck. And of course I have the Wizard for defending along with the Barbarians and the Goblins. So let's go ahead and jump right into a match. All right, so we are using this in Arena 6, which is going to be a little bit different than the situation that you guys have. We'll have Elixir Pumps and Golems, but I doubt I'll face the Golem. I haven't even ran into one yet. So shall we, um, let's play a little bit defensively. That's one of the things you want to do with this deck as well with, oh, well, um, I was saying we're probably not going to see any Golems, but guess what? He just played. So we're going to freeze with this hog. He put down the minions. Freeze, freeze. Yes, yes. Awesome stuff, man. Awesome stuff. We got off some pretty good damage with these guys. And we need to defend this golem now, so we'll drop off our goblins, and we'll drop off our barbarians as well. We should easily take him out. It's kind of good to defend the golem. Oh, no. Don't tell me. This guy is stacked. This guy is so stacked. You won't be seeing this in Arena 5, folks. Let me just tell you that right now. So let's keep up this rush here on the left side. We got some spear goblins going in. Not much of a rush. Uh, rush. Actually, let's drop off... Um, should I freeze? I'm gonna freeze. YOLO. YOLO. We got three Barbarians on the tower. Barbarians actually do quite a bit of damage. They're definitely a good offensive troop as well as a good defensive troop. So we just fireballed. We're gonna play our Hog Rider as well. Definitely a risky move here, but I don't really see him rushing with anything huge. I see him saving up for another Golem. Oh, there he defended it, but we got off the final hit to take out that tower. We're gonna arrow as well to get another Elixir advantage considering we take out five Elixir with three Elixir. Now we just gotta kinda wait. He's got off a prince, we'll do that to defend the charge, and we'll put down some archers to deal the damage. There we go, take him out quick, take him out quick, please. He should have rushed with them at the same exact time. That would have been quite a bit better. So we took out those two archers there easily. Only got off one hit on top of that though. I'm not sure if I should defend or if I should rush that right side. It's kinda tough to tell. If he rushes my left side, oh. Okay, I'm gonna rush the right side now. That was a really, really dumb play on his part. We'll get this hog freeze going. Freeze him, freeze him, yeah, buddy. Now we have his crown tower to worry about as well. He'll take that out easily. Um, we'll do this and we'll do this as well. And then we need to arrow that right side because he's gonna take a lot of health if we don't got them down easily. Dark Prince is super overpowered as well. I wish I had it, this guy's really lucky and he has it as level three as well. So that's awesome. Um, let's go ahead and rush this right side again. He's definitely going to take that left tower. Yep, with the rocket, there he goes. That's a lot of elixir spent, honestly. I don't know why he did that. So, let's keep up with this rush. We'll drop some of these guys here on the left side. We'll take that tower out with one shot, and then we'll drop off some barbarians to help out this guy. We'll drop off some more spear goblins as well. Um, he's definitely going to wreck us. Definitely not gonna get this rush off in time. I think we're actually, oh, we might, we might. Freeze it, freeze it. Oh, did we get it? Yes, we did. Oh, good game, man, good game. Well played. Awesome stuff, man. This deck is great if you play it right. The Golem is a super expensive troop, so what you want to do with this deck is kind of wait for them to spend their super expensive elixir troops and then maybe rush the other side, get off a little bit of damage, and then successfully defend their high elixir as well with something else. So we're facing a level 7, and I actually wish I would have gemmed to open that other chest, because then maybe I would have gotten a chest from this arena, which would have been super, super nice. But I don't think that's going to happen. We'll drop off our goblins and our wizard over here on the right side to hopefully take out a little bit of damage on that um, spawner. I guess we won't. We'll take out a little bit of that, uh, of that, whatchamacallit? What is it called? The Musketeer. Guys, if you keep up with my channel, you know I like forget what the Musketeer is called every single time. So we're just going to wait and see what he does. He really doesn't have too much going on right now. Just the spawners going. We're going to hog, and um, I don't think we need to freeze unless... Oh, he got distracted. Oh, no. He got way distracted. He got way distracted. Come on. Come on. Let's get some good hits off. One, two... Three maybe? Yeah, three hits. That's what we needed. So we got off a giant skeleton as well. Crazy stuff, man. Crazy stuff. Let me drop off these guys. What are those goblins doing? What? So let's drop off some barbarians. Come on. Distract them, please. Yes. Oh, yes. That was so perfectly played. Oh, I had like no time left. And please make it out of the radius. 
Oh, a couple of them did. That's good. Good, good, good. So I'm thinking we're going to hog rider the right side there. He just dropped off that elixir pump. Like I was saying, they played their elixir and then you want to rush in while they are low. So he's definitely not going to be able to defend this. One more hit after this, please. Yes. Got it down. Awesome stuff. Now we need to defend a little bit. Throw off some archers. Hey, <laughs> you raging. Keep spamming it, man. And maybe it'll help. So let's do... Um, Let's drop off some goblins right on that spawner, lower its health a little bit, that way we can uh, slower, or not slower, but slower is, yeah, it's a word, but it's not the right word, definitely not. So let's drop off these wizards, and we got some good stuff defending here, man. This guy's doing well. Let's go ahead and arrow. That was a waste. That was a huge waste, but that's okay. It got down that... Um, that giant skeleton a little bit faster and the wizard on time. Let's drop off some more spear goblins. Let's just stall this prince as much as possible. That's what we need to do. Keep him off the tower. Let's drop off barbarians as well to easily destroy this. And then we should take down his giant skeleton as well with these guys. Hey, <laughs> get wrecked, son. And then we're going to drop off a hog rider as well. Let me drop off some goblins. Those guys are actually all going to get wrecked by that giant bomb. Um, come on, goblins. He's distracted. Take him out. Awesome stuff, awesome stuff. Let's defend that rush, and then we'll do this, and then we'll do this, and you guys probably don't know what's really going on. I'm just throwing stuff, and that's because I don't really know what's going on either. So let's arrow just to take him out sooner. Oh, that was close. Wow, well played. That was really, really crazy, actually. So good games. We actually just beat someone in the Royal Arena, which is awesome. 30 trophies, that'll get us one win away from that next arena. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. Be sure to use this in Arena 5. That's the earliest I believe you can use it because you do need the wizard. So that's important. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys all in my next video.